All right, guys, so we're wrapping up a pretty awesome event with uh, Three Ranger Whiskey. We had Clay down to our retail shop here in Parkville, Missouri. It was awesome. Uh, we're now over at the watch shop, our, our partner business across the street from us, and uh, we're having to sit down with Clay to just ask some questions about his experience uh, being a warfighter for almost all of his life. And uh, it was kind of cool. People that pre-ordered bottles, we gave him the chance to write a question. Some of them did, some of them didn't, but I'm excited to read some of these. So first off, I'm gonna start with like Three Ranger history. Clay, can you give me like a two minute synopsis of why you started Three Ranger Whiskey and also Three Ranger Foundation? All right, so uh, the first thing I'll say, it was it, I wasn't the founder. I was part of the foundation of Three Rangers and Three Rangers Foundation. Three Rangers started with John Colette. John Colette was my ranger buddy. He was at BCO 375 with me. And John is an incredible, incredible human being that um, ex extremely compassionate, amazing person that had a lot of, lot of uh, challenges in life, especially after he exited from the military and he didn't want to um, during the Q course, uh, jumping in Rod, Robin Sage, he broke his back. Okay. This was in the 90s. Uh, they were getting rid of as many people as possible, so he was forced medically retire. So he got out, and then I went on my own path. Um, I got out of Ranger Regiment. I was a federal agent. 2001, 9-11 uh, happened. I went back into the military, and we had this very long uh, separation and it, it was tough. I missed my ranger buddy. And then 20 years after October 3rd, 1993, from the Battle of the Black Sea, or known as Black Hawk Down, we had a reunion. And I linked back up with John, and he said, hey, I'm working at a distillery. John went from intern to head distiller, and uh, it was Koval, which is a distillery out of Chicago, Illinois, the longest-running distillery in Chicago and he approached them and said I would like to make a whiskey or a label that supports a veteran nonprofit well I was having I was transitioning out of the military again I said I'll help you any way possible and I started the foundation three Rangers foundation which the whiskey was purpose built to support and fun. John continued to make the whiskey. We had another ranger run the business. And uh, here we are 10 years later. Um, some things have changed. The foundation is incredible. It, so the foundation primarily supports the transition of our rangers coming out of 75th Ranger Regiment into civilian life. But we also, another major mission is supporting our Gold Star family members. Um, they, they mean an incredible amount to us. And uh, also um, building a network of mentorship for the Rangers coming out was priority for us. So any Ranger coming out of the 75th Ranger Regiment right now will talk to a counselor that will hook them up with three rangers to get them whatever they need uh veterans assistance college benefits a buddy that lives in the neighborhood they're moving to whatever it may be however they need to be successful in life we're there for them so that's where three rangers is right now well i got two things to add to that yeah the, the first being i'm not a rye whiskey kind of guy i prefer my bourbon uh-huh this is the only rye whiskey that i like and on top of that, I will say that this is the only rye or any type of whiskey that I've ever seen my wife drink without a shooter. So, uh, yeah. Second, uh -huh. Three Ranger Foundation. Yes. Hands down, my all-time favorite veteran nonprofit for the aspect of, one, Mike Hall is just an amazing guy that is an absolute legend within... Ranger legend. Ranger legend. And on top amazing of that, human being. what you guys do for the guys transi transitioning out of the 75th Ranger Regiment is next to 
it, there's no other organization that I think is competing with you guys on the aspect of what you're doing that makes a difference in the, the guys' lives that matter. Because it's really tough transitioning out. Like you, you miss your brothers, as we were just talking about, mm -hmm. and uh, it's it's scary, right? And it's a big leap of faith of like, hey, I'm getting out of this community that I love and the people that I love, and I'm going to the civilian world and Three Ranger Foundation. I've watched it as a business owner and being a mentor. Like, man, it's it's a lot of fun for me to to scoop up some younger guys. They're like, hey, I want to do X, Y, or Z in my civilian life and and make a difference, and um, it's a lot of fun. So. Thank you for creating the organization because it's definitely needed for the regiment. Well, I mean, once again, it absolutely was not me. I was a part of it. Well, and John, thank yeah. you for the whiskey, man. Yeah. Because um, <laughs> it's excellent. And there are so many names I could say along the way. And um, it, it has definitely been an incredible team effort to create the Three Rangers LLC, the Spears Company, Three Rangers Foundation, the nonprofit. Um, we don't make money off the whiskey. Uh, it is a mechanism to make veterans successful. And uh, I'm glad you are a mentor. Like that, that means an incredible amount to me. Yeah. And uh, that's what we started with as a concept. Like um, when veterans get out, like when you join the military, you get issued a family and you, the, the bonds you create are like none other because you suffer and sacrifice together like you, you create incredible bonds and then you you leave that and uh, a lot of guys need purpose and uh it just lets them know the foundation that the, it's still out there you just gotta you just gotta reach out and, and find it again and we try and make it accessible so all right Let's mm -hmm. jump into some questions. All right. Are you ready for this? Yeah, I hope so. All right. Uh, it's going to be embarrassing. Here's the first one, Clay. Yeah. Uh, for those of you that are watching this, Clay is, he's a humble guy, but he's got a hell of a career, and he, his face is not on camera on purpose because he's still out there doing our bidding against bad people in this world. So what's, uh, what's the story you would tell your 18-year-old self to prove how badass you are now? I know exactly where this question came from. Uh, I will just say that, um, and I won't say it's as much as a story, as much as it is just a principle, that I uh, am a hayseed from Missouri. I'm two inches shorter than the average woman, <laughs> which is no offense to the women but I have reached the highest pinnacles of like military service and uh, being a commando. And it is 100% mental. What you want, you just have to want it enough and you can achieve it. And the Ranger Regiment was like the absolute stepping stone to confirming that for me. And uh, I would say the events of 3 October 1993 absolutely in the in the aftermath of that that I could I could do anything I put my mind to so that that would be my advice to my 18 year old me that there is nothing nothing you can't do so yeah yeah, you figure out a lot of those uh, mental barriers you have are just that. They're in your own mind and not the other way around. Uh, when are you coming back to KC for another KC Cattle Company event? Uh, so I am a Missouri homeboy. Um, my family roots are primarily in north central Missouri. Uh, I've got a little farm up there, and that is my church, my you know place I go. Every fall I come back to uh, do a little hunting and, and spend time with family. So I would say late, no, late October, early November, I'll be back. Uh, if, if I'm not uh, out of country, I will be in Missouri, ready to do another event. You guys heard it. Uh, besides being a ranger, what branch and career field would you pick and why? Whew, that's a tough one. Um, Besides being a ranger, so uh, uh, I recommend any young person trying to find their way in life to join any branch of the military. 
Um, but just being who I am and who I've been around, I highly recommend the Ranger Regiment. But a close second would be um, going through the Special Operations Pipeline for the United States Air Force. They treat their people very well. Those guys get some amazing training and uh, I really appreciated work, my time working with uh, special tactics guys in the Air Force and they have a lot of opportunity. Once again, you just gotta apply yourself. Yeah, yeah no, the uh, Air Force guys are way underestimated on the special operations side. It's mm -hmm. cool careers. Uh, Oh God, who wrote that? I know exactly who wrote this question. Old school FJ Cruiser or new Tesla Cybertruck? FJ Cruiser. Yeah, good man. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what advice would you give to young men and women contemplating serving in the military? Favorite motto was a secondary follow on question. Oh man. Um, all right, so uh, what advice would I give to young people? Uh, commit. Go take the oath. Serve your country. Um, whatever you do, you will come out better on the other side. Serving um, is just in, it, in and of itself. And people serve in many different ways. But uh, taking that oath and serving your country will give you an incredible amount of benefits and opportunity. You just have to take advantage of it. So, uh, serve. This is a... Follow-on question spurred by this one, uh, just because I spent a lot of time thinking about the oath I took when I enlisted and, mm -hmm. and remembering it very well. Uh, I feel like it's taken on a different meaning in the 10 years since I've exited the military. Mm -hmm. Looking back on like swearing an oath to protect the Constitution against enemies foreign and domestic, what do, what do you think about um, where the military is at, what people can do better, and what they are missing out on, on the aspect of like a majority of citizens within this country have never exited the borders of this country and seen third world countries. What are they missing on an experience of the aspect of like, this is still the best country to live in because of the, the stars and stripes and the constitution that it stands on? 100% that is still the greatest nation on the earth. But it takes uh, amazing people to make that sacrifice of serving. And it's an extremely small percentage of our population. Um, when my, so my first niece graduated, I, the one thing I said, I, I'll promise you a trip, but you're going to have to go somewhere where it, it has meaning. So... Uh, I took her to Normandy, France, <laughs> and uh, and then we also took her to Latvia, because Latvia was not Latvia; it was part of the USSR yeah. for a long time until they gain regain their freedom. Um, so you can go to a lot of underserved places in the in the world and see what it really means to survive, not be entitled to anything. Uh, entitlement is something you earn. It's not given. So um, 100%, like, this is the greatest country. You have to earn it, though. You have to own it, uh, be part of that, and just not expect somebody else to take take that role. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. <clears throat> All right, this is the last one. How has helping veterans transition to civilian life impacted your own life? 100% enrichment. I mean, there is uh, nothing greater than to get the satisfaction of seeing someone else succeed. It's the whole, uh, the mission, man and me. Like, what is the mission? And for us, like Three Rangers Foundation, we want to uh, see our own, after their sacrifice, after they, you know, give up everything that they give up, uh, be successful and it's just a reflection. And I look back, um, the big thing that jumps out is back when we used to have Ranger rendezvous um, and we had all the Vietnam Rangers and those guys got dealt such a like bad hand. 
I mean, they came back and told their baby killers, you lost your, your war. Uh, they weren't appreciated at all. And they were, they were trying to make the same commitment we were, uh, but we all were called heroes. Yeah. Like we, um, and, uh, but those guys like took us under their wing 110 percent um and they were there to support us whatever we needed and for me to give back and uh just honor the legacy of everybody came before me that's it's a huge huge honor so yeah <laughs> guys if you haven't tried three ranger whiskey it's it's like i said at the beginning of the video it is hands down my favorite rye whiskey and also three ranger foundation if you're capable and able and you're looking for a veteran nonprofit to support this is the one they do absolutely fantastic things for the guys transitioning out it's tough it's hard it's one of the aspects we don't think about we're hard chargers and we're like man we're gonna go kick ass in this career or this career but the aspect we don't think about is lo losing the brothership and and the, the parts that come along with that, financial burdens and everything else. Please go on, check them out. It's an absolutely outstanding foundation. Can't thank Clay enough. He's been a huge supporter of the company for years, and um, he's just an amazing guy that has dedicated his life to fighting bad people in this world. And if you're watching this, there are absolutely bad people in this world that exist. There's right and wrong. Clay's out there doing the right thing, protecting our country. We can't thank him enough. All right. Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs>